Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your bonus readings for all the water signs out there. Hope you guys are doing well, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it here. We're going to start off first for the sign of Scorpio. Wow, three major arcanas, boom, right out in a row here. So they were kind of tossing around in their head here as to what to do. The whole time that I'm thinking, uh, you know, feeling here with the magician. So they've been manifesting and trying to stay strong in regards to getting past this energy of some kind of cut off of communication, lack of work, cut off of work here in regards to this relationship. I do feel since it's walking towards that high priestess could be dealing with a twin here, but here it is. Let's talk, Deb, shall we, Scorpio? I feel that somebody has been kind of, yeah, denial, uh, definitely in denial here. You know, they feel it. They they kept going back and forth as to what to do here as well. But I do feel while they were kind of tossing it around in regards to what do I do here, trying to have the strength uh, to make a decision here, they were actually manifesting. It just took them a little bit to get there, you know, kind of thing. It's, it, this is heading towards the future with this 10 of Wands. So they're heading back towards uh, their counterpart here, this Twin Flame Energy. A lot of major arcanas. Four already. One more. Nope, too many. Wish I could, but I can't. Yep, Ace of Cups here. So definitely there's a new start of love coming on in. That's pretty wild. It's funny when um, they always, um, I had a situation when I was talking to a friend of mine years ago, and this is kind of similar here. And I'd be like, well, you manifesting. He wasn't really into, he knew what I did for a living. I've given him plenty of readings, you know, in the past. Uh, but I was like, are you manifesting? I don't think he totally grasped what I, where I was going with it, you know. And he goes, well, no, not really. I'm like, well, dude, are you thinking about her? And he goes, yeah. Are you thinking about a future with her and what you're planning out in your head kind of thing? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden I was like, you're manifesting, dude. <laughs> So it's kind of cute in a way because I like to explain things, but this is what this energy is all about, Scorpio. So somebody is basically planning out their life with you in their mind and they, they can't get you off their mind. Really cool energy, really cool. But it's kind of funny because they don't realize that they are manifesting, okay, with their thoughts to see that connection and move forward with this plan in their mind. Pretty cool, rocking cool energy, love it. So anyway, that was a cute little story, sorry. Cancer, I just giggled at him. <laughs> it was funny. All right, Cancer, you could be dealing with an air sign energy with that king of swords here, lack of communication, going through the battle here, definitely. Oh, yeah, they know it. They know that they're struggling here. I feel that they're trying to strategize as to what to do as well with the hermit looking at that Wheel of Fortune, uh, but kind of refusal to do so in the past, I feel. I feel that they're going, exactly, they see the error of their ways I just heard, so definitely communicating again. Could be lighthearted, could be younger than you. The pages are known for a lighter uh, younger energy, okay, uh, could act, um, you could be dealing with an Aries as well here, but definitely I feel that, yeah, a lot of twin flame energy going on here, putting in the work after kind of ghosting energy, not really knowing beforehand, you know, that this is a real uh, meant to be relationship here, but I do feel this is a twin flame meant to be relationship they're, they're reconciling in their mind, okay, trying to figure out. A little stubborn with their energy to communicate here until they figured it out. They're one of those types that, um, you know, has to kind of settle with their thoughts first to figure out, well, what exactly am I doing here? You know, they have to figure it out within themselves, within their mindset here to figure out that, hey, this is a real relationship and I better go get them. You know, I better go put that work in and communicate that's exactly what's going to happen here for you, Cancer. All right, moving on to Pisces. Somebody's a little frustrated because somebody got cut out in regards to communication. You got the Nine of Wands looking at the world.
Hmm. Needs a lot of healing energy here. They're taking it really, really rough. Nine of Wands looking at the world here. That's frustration because things in regards to communication got cut out with this Queen of Swords. Now, you could be dealing with air sign energy, but really she's known as the cut out queen. Now it's kind of like, well, I feel this connection. The nine plus the two is that 11. Uh, they make me add, subtract, whatever, when there's two matching elements sometimes. But definitely, you know, it's kind of like, well, what do we do now? Am I supposed to do something here? I'm totally frustrated because in my mind, I totally miss them. Uh, this has been tough for you, I feel, definitely, Pisces. But I, I just feel like you need to kind of take a step back, let it roll as well. I just heard, oh, nicely put there, Spirit. Uh, but definitely, I feel that, you know, you know... There's some things in this world, sorry, maybe a little logical, Deb speaking here, uh, you know, things happen for a reason, I believe in that, but it is my favorite, one of my favorite expressions is, uh, it is what it is, you know, it's, it's not always necessary, it's not always, uh, you know, what we think it's going to turn out to be, but, you know, it happens, you know, that of course they put that other word before that, but definitely, you know, things happen that we don't really care for uh, to take place here. It's just frustrating, I feel. Clarify that nine of wands. Yeah, because, yeah, you could be dealing with a, a twin here or Gemini as well. But you love this person. They will return, okay? Let them kind of settle their energy here. Uh, but as for you, you know, I can't really say, you know, I can't, I can't say, hey, Pisces, don't miss them. That would be stupid because we're human, you know, and spirit knows that. So it's just kind of like unsettling energy in regards to the frustration of this because you do feel that strong connection with them still. I do feel twin flame energy. They are going to make a decision in regards to this and return. There could be an apology for some, but really they're going to get through this come back, communicate, and offer that cup again, okay? So it's ba it's basically, you know, like I said, I can't say, hey, you know, don't miss them in your mind. You really, really miss them because you feel that strong connection. Give it some time because that nine is so close to the 10. I do feel that you're wrapping up a cycle. It's been tough, you know, is what I'm seeing here. So just keep on going, uh, roll with it, you know, kind of thing. And it's a tough spread. It really, really is. Let me get you guys, because I feel bad. This is tough energy. It really is. Let me see. Yeah, they're going to show the action. Could be dealing with fire. Does not have to be. But I do feel, yeah, you got another nine here. So really, you're wrapping up a cycle, I feel, here, okay? Just keep working on you. They're coming back and showing that action. Maybe this spread is basically saying you needed that encouragement. You needed to hear it, you know, that they are returning. So, there you go. You got two nines. So you're wrapping up that cycle, definitely. And that's what I have for not just Pisces, but for all the water signs out there. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You guys rock. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.